Hello, my name is Andre and in this video I'm the person with the blue knee protectors. I have been taking part in Eskrima tournaments for about 10 years and still enjoy doing so. While not completely realistic, they offer you an opportunity to compete against non-cooperative opponents from different schools. This brings out at least some techniques that are applicable to real fighting. I'd like to share some of those that work for me. I will start with some basics of orthodox matchups, where both opponents have the stick in the right hand. Then I will continue with some observations about lefty versus righty kind of situations. The most common attack in stick fighting is a forehand diagonal. That makes the roof block the most useful defense. The motion of a roof block flows nicely into her own forehand diagonal. Sadly, those two techniques will sometimes make up the majority of a fight. Here the red stick is a forehand diagonal about to be thrown, the green stick is just waiting to become a roof block. And you can see the circular nature of these two techniques. The live hand, the one not holding a stick, has relatively easy access to the opponent's weapon. While the opponent's stick is being controlled, the own stick can be used to offend. Here the opponent's stick, highlighted in red, is controlled by the left hand, shown in blue. The green arrow signifies the own forehanded attacks. Now you can see both defenses being used. When in right lead with the weapon in front, the roof block is the method of choice. While circling the opponent there was a shift in leads, now the stick is in the rear and the life hand in front is used to defend. Things change when one player has the stick in the left hand. The forehand diagonal is still the go-to attack, but the roof block is not as practical as before. Shield blocks are better as a defense, but don't flow into counter attacks as easily. The umbrella can be used, it's not as stable but combines well with backhanded attacks. The life hand is pretty much out of play. Here you can see the umbrella defense in action. Here you can see that it's quite an unstable block, which flows well into a backhanded attack nevertheless. Just a quick look back at orthodox matchups. Both roof block and life hand can be used well defensively. Here you can see both in combination. The life hand moves under the protection of the roof block to capture the opponent's stick. When the right foot is in front, the left hand can pull the opponent's stick a long way. This improves the chance of a disarm. Again, right foot in front, left hand pulls. Good result.
If you want to use the life hand with mirrored leads, you pretty much have to do so offensively. That way you can create openings for attacks with the stick. This is a typical example. The life hand is in the lead and the opponent is not yet attacking. When the right foot is in front and the right hand is pulling the stick, disarms rarely happen. However, the opponent's defense can be disrupted effectively. When fighting with the stick in front, the life hand has to reach very far to get to the opponent's stick. So by redirecting and moving around the incoming arm, outside position can be obtained. Here's a way to create distance from that position. It is common practice in Kali to move away from the rear foot. This is easier when the opponent can't turn to face you. The step back gives favorable mechanics to a strong forehand diagonal, discouraging the opponent from chasing. Here the red arrow highlights the opponent's attempt to reach for the stick. This move is redirected by the life end, shown in green, while moving to the side, shown in yellow. Now his shoulders are nearly perpendicular to his hips, leaving him unstable. Here the reaching hand is redirected, but there is no movement. Now there is redirection and movement around the opponent. Here are some escapes underneath the life end of a very strong opponent. Again, redirection and step around. The yellow arrow shows the movement away from the opponent's rear foot, highlighted in red. The blue arrow signifies the simultaneous forehand strike. The same maneuver twice. from a rare instance of a successful life hand defense as a lefty. And the application in double sticks. Double sticks once more, prevent the opponent from turning, step away from his rear foot and deliver a forehand.
try it, have fun with it. <laughs>